Um, okay, here's a Glenn Beck story you're going to absolutely love. It's been a little while since we talked about Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck's show has essentially now turned into, I, I guess, uh, just an infomercial. I can't even describe it any other way. It, it's unbelievable, and I'll actually show you some of this video. He, the other day, he did a show where he's doing this scare tactic type of thing. And now we've heard him do it with gold. We've heard him do it with a number of other things, right? Now you have to be scared. Things are going to get so bad in this country. Of course, let's connect that to Barack Obama as the president and liberals are taking over that he is going to be giving his family food storage as a gift for Christmas. Let me play this for you. And if you're watching us on TV or on YouTube or, or anywhere where there's video, this looks like an infomercial set. He's got products out on a desk. This is no different than the, uh, you know, set it and forget it oven or whatever that thing is. Take a look at this. It, it's incredible. What's happening to us. Our materialism is holding us together and our materialism is destroying us. Christmas isn't about the stuff and if we allow it to be, <laughs> it will destroy us. Tonight, I want to talk to you about the meaning of Christmas, but I mean, I also want to talk about some of my favorite things. They aren't expensive. Some have no monetary value at all. Mm -hmm. But what makes Christmas the most memorable time of the year is being with our family. And it's um, about giving and not receiving. Um, but today it is really about receiving, too, because I want to do this like Oprah does. You're on my favorite things episode. OK, and then he goes on. And he gives everybody the food everybody. storage. And he pulls survival out the backpack. Bag. Who doesn't? This is why it's even red. It's a Christmas survival bag. Ho, 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 everybody. Okay, I, I can't even take this, Lewis. What he's doing here, he has this churchy feel. He's almost like a preacher. And he has this audience, which is obviously handpicked. And he's saying food storage is probably the best give you can give anybody this year. I'm going to skip to the punchline, Lewis, because this is so pathetic. Obviously, it's a sponsor. This food insurance company and this food storage thing, it's one of his sponsors. And he's not mentioning that. Mm -hmm. no, no disclosure of the fact that it is one of his sponsors. And this is not an isolated incident. He did the same thing. He did a whole show on, you know, it's so, it's so sad, Lewis, that in the U.S. people are so attached to items and we all have so many items in our houses that we don't need and we should get rid of. So you should all... Rid yourselves of the items by listing them on upillar.com, which again, if you actually look this up, it's another one of his sponsors. And for a long time now, we've seen the gold line stuff. Mm -hmm. The dollar is going to crash. Let's go to commercial. Hey, do you think the dollar is going to crash? Hedge against it by buying gold from gold line. Is this, th there has to be some, some, can we not enforce full disclosure here, Lewis? His show is turning into an infomercial. It is literally an infomercial here. And I'm sure he's making a lot of money. That's right. And you know, this isn't even cheap. I actually wrote down this food storage thing a year of, I don't, I don't know if this is the food storage or if this is the food backpack for a year. It has two, two weeks supply. It's almost $10,000. So if there's a nuclear attack, you go to the food, the food storage place, mm. you'd start knocking on the door. There's a nuclear attack. I'm here for the food. Right. Is this what is being proposed here? I mean, what's worse than just the fact that his show's turned into an infomercial is just the fear mongering. It's constant. It is. I mean, he gets people to what? Basically, he gets people to hoard their guns. Right. Then he gets people to uh, hoard food. Hoard food. Get right? rid of dollars in exchange for gold. Keep gold because you can have it. It'll always be with you. You won't lose it. Get rid of all your possessions. I mean, it's on... like it's like he's trying to get people ready for the apocalypse. That's right. Get rid of your possessions on, on you pillar. It's incredible. And we know the type of people who listen to him. Oh, well, we, absolutely. Absolutely. And I would, the, just I, the climate of fear he's creating is, is can't be healthy. It's almost like it's being it's it is almost like he is preaching in a church to a very scared group of people. Mm -hmm. And everybody just loves anything he proposes. It reminds me of the uh, survival kit. From Dr. Strangelove. Yeah. <clears throat> a 45 automatic, two boxes of ammunition, four days concentrated emergency rations, a drug issue containing antibiotics, morphine, a miniature combination of Russian phrase book and Bible, hundred dollars in rubles, hundred dollars in gold, chewing gum. It, it's it's preposterous what he is presenting here. Next he's gonna suggest that all the smartest people 
Fi- get into some big bunker with all the most beautiful women. That's right. Women. That's the next and thing. That's, you know, clearly we've got to move to our new. We need a new state. We need a new area, and everybody needs to go there because any second. But you're going to have the food storage. Hello, I'm here for my uh, teriyaki rice. It's complete nuclear fallout, but I paid for the food insurance. Please let me in. That's exactly. Is that not what it would be like? I just can't even picture it. I really hope nobody's buying that thing, but I know people are. There's no question, right? He's making a ton of money off of it. If it's on his show and it's basically an infomercial, I'm sure people are buying into it. 